This is designing a newer, healthier, and sexier version of you through food. There's not gonna be too much sugar in this fruit and cause you to gain any weight or get any fatter. This is not a simple sugar. This is not Coca-Cola. This is not a Snickers candy bar. Mm -hmm. And you said a lot of your bloating has gone away and pushed through? Bloating is gone, yes. Um, and just like maximize energy level. Nice. You're on that medication. We're seeing ulcers. We're seeing this, you know. I want to teach you how to prevent all that so you can stay away from the doctor. And this <laughs> is just what the doctor ordered. Hello everyone, you're here with Jamie Graff and the Bib Lifestyle. This is week number three, episode number six for Operation Gabriella. Let's bring her on here and see what she's got to say for you guys out there listening. Make sure you hit that follow button, share this with your friends and family, and pay attention because she has got a lot to say. Gabriella, come on out here. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Fantastic. Happy to have you back here today. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Excellent. Happy to hear that. Guys, this is Gabriella. As you know, we have your, she just did a great job cutting up her fruit bowl. We just wanted to save you some time, the viewers, from watching us chop all this up. So we went ahead and took the last of the fruit this week. She did a great job, as you see here. This is the rest of it. What do we have here? We've got the papaya. Papaya, a mango, um, melon. That's the golden dew, melon. Golden dew, melon, and bananas. And bananas. some bananas, yep. And then we had the rest of the leafy greens and vegetables that we chopped over, over here. Mm -hmm. um, we just have two days of eating left for this week, mm -hmm. Thursday and Friday. Yeah. We've got our brown rice left over there and the lentils. Lentils. So, Gabriella, I'm going to go ahead and start putting these fruit bowls yes. together for you. Um, this week, we added the seeds. You've got two more jars of these left. Mm -hmm. um, with eating the seeds with the fruit bowls, uh, are you adding them to the fruit bowls or are you eating them separately on the side? Yeah. What are you doing there? To be honest, very honest, um, I was not adding them to the fruit bowls. I was just eating them like that, just like after, in like in the afternoon, later. As, as a side snack? Kind of, yes. It was a little um, challenging, I would say, because I think we're just not used to eating these kinds of seeds and most of them I just don't know. Mm -hmm. So some some are very bitter, just unusual um, taste. The taste and the textures. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but I think um, what, just, I, yeah, what I saw sorry. you doing. Yeah, just take a look at those right yeah. there. We'll just show you what those are looking like. Yeah. So what I saw you doing was like that you kind of like mix them with the fruit salad. Yes. So that's definitely what I'm going to try out because I think then it's just much easier to eat it. And it's just, of course, you get the best out of it, right? Yes, of course. So yeah. I like to just add them to the fruit bowl uh, right before I'm about to eat the fruit bowl mm -hmm. because we don't want to put them on and let them sit overnight because then mm -hmm. they're, they might they might get too soft and they'll absorb up a lot of the moisture. Yeah. And of course, they're still gonna have a great health effect on the body doing it that way, but a lot of times when you eat seeds, we don't always chew all of them up. So a lot of them just get swallowed down. Mm -hmm. And the good thing with that is, as they're traveling through the stomach, the small intestines and the large intestines, they're scraping the intestine walls, pulling off a lot of that built up waste, yeah. which is what we're trying to eliminate. You know, and then they expand with that moisture inside the body as well. <laughs> so uh, with that bitter taste, you know, you're saying it was difficult to eat, huh? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Anything that did, was there one that you just really didn't like in there? Because I know there's such a big yeah. variety. Yeah, I honestly, I would not know now, like right now out of the blue, I would not know all of the names. Okay. But of course, like, I think one of the most unusual ones is the, uh, um, what was it, the apricot? Apricot seeds, seed. It's yes. extremely bitter. Okay. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's doable. It's okay. Uh, you just have to get used to it. And I think the best technique is definitely, or method, is just to mix it up with the fruit uh, bowls and just combine it together to get the best out of it. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. All right, so we just put them fruit bowls together for her. Now again, 
These are very large fruit bowls for her size. You know, in the book, My Health, My Story, my guide on how I found the bib lifestyle, there is a mathematical scale for you to use for your current body weight. But Gabriella does have a big appetite. Um, she's used to snacking and grazing throughout the day. So I'm just giving her more. You want to at least have the minimal amount, mm -hmm. but you can always have more. It's not going to have a bad effect on you. There's not going to be too much sugar in this fruit and cause you to gain any weight or get any fatter. This is not a simple sugar. This is not Coca-Cola. This is not a Snickers candy bar. Mm -hmm. This is a digestible sugar from fruit that has such a low glycemic index and when you eat it and it has to go through the digestive process, it slowly gives you energy throughout the day, kind of like an IV drip. Have you been noticing that from eating the fruit bowls? That I get energy? Yes. Well, I think it's, um, I feel personally, it's just, um, I'm a person that always has to eat something in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I got kind of like used to that I don't directly eat, but like when I eat it, it just also helps me with my digestion. Yeah. It pushes like stuff down. Um, but all in all, I definitely can say like um, with these three weeks, right? Three weeks. Yeah, yeah. This is week number week number three. Yeah. Yep, I, the end of it. Yeah, I definitely feel very energized. And now implementing the workouts and the movement is, yeah. um, I think it's very impactful. And you said a lot of your bloating has gone away and pushed through? Bloating is gone, yes. Um, and just like maximize energy level. Nice. And just in general, just the more fitness or just feeling good about myself and just like... Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like to tell you. This is designing a newer, healthier, and sexier version of you through food. That's the best way to do it. Exercise, you can exercise for four to six hours a day, but if you don't put the right nutrients inside your body, you are not going to have the effects that you're mentally wanting to see in your body. Okay. Um, so we've got those fruit bowls together. Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to these salads right here. Yeah. Now. Last week, oh, yeah. as you guys saw in episode number, uh, what was that, number five, yeah. uh, we had to make a few changes for Gabriella because uh, prior in the first couple of weeks, she was getting some agitation in her stomach mm -hmm. uh, through the cruciferous vegetables that we were feeding her and the, um, the bowls of grains and beans that weren't cooked as fully before. So we went ahead and cooked a softer bean, the lentils. We made sure that everything was cooked really well mm -hmm. and we... She, what we decided to do for her was separate the salad and the grains so that she wasn't eating it all together because not everybody can break these foods down like I can and a lot of other people. Their stomachs and their intestines are a little bit more sensitive. So she was um, eating the salad with the cruciferous vegetables kind of like mid-evening, midday uh, in, into the early evening and then saving the beans and the grains later on in the day and I think you were adding uh, some vegetable broth yeah. to your grains and the beans to kind of soften that up yeah. kind of like a soup how was that yeah so at the beginning as um, as you just said and mentioned um, I did it just the way you do it mm -hmm. but that was tough on my stomach but now I just do the um, salad like um, just the salad and everything here yes with the dressing um, like in the afternoon mm -hmm. or like after like lunch in the afternoon and then um, this one the grains and what is this the, the lentils lentils, lentils and yep. the rice yes um, I would just do in the evening and just mix it up with a vegetable broth nice yeah. nice and and with the salads when you're eating the salads you know you can add onions you can add olives you can add artichokes you can add avocado you can add more vegetables to it you just again just like the fruit bowls you want to make sure you consume at least the four leafy greens as in the book and the two cruciferous vegetables uh, so you want to add those so what Gabriella was experiencing was this the, the cruciferous vegetables broccoli asparagus celery mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts they contain an enzyme called uh, raffinose, I believe is what it's called. And our bodies don't have the enzyme inside them to break those compounds down. So that's the agitation that she was getting. It was She was feeling those cruciferous vegetables because they were not getting broken down or digested. And she was feeling those travel through her intestines. And it's a good sign. Of, of course, it was bad that it was happening to her, but it's good. It lets you know that the, f the fact that she could feel that lets you know that her intestines are, they've gotten clean from the fruit. She's able to actually feel that stuff because when you're clogged up, 
and unhealthy, uh, your intestines are filled with so much garbage, a lot of times people won't even feel that discomfort mm -hmm. or that uh, uh, of that food traveling through the body because there's so much stuff blocking, blocking the passageway yeah. is what we'll say. Um, and this is, you know, the leafy greens, you guys could see this. This had been sitting in the refrigerator. We bought this on Sunday. We chopped up the full bowl of it for, for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Here we are on Wednesday again, and, and it's still green. We pulled it out. She chopped it up again, did a great job uh, here <laughs> for, for Thursday and Friday. We're gonna go ahead and just put a big handful of that in here, in here for her. She needs to have at least five cups of the leafy green vegetable mix right here to get her through these next two days. And Jamie's a pro and he knows exactly how to measure it I, with his hands. I do, <laughs> I do, because I've been doing this so much, mm -hmm. you know, and of course I'm giving her a little <laughs> bit extra because, um, and not much extra, there's maybe five and a half cups right there. Lucky me. And, and because she's separating, as we said <laughs> just a few minutes ago, She's separating these, so she's getting her fruit bowl maybe around 11 in the afternoon, 11 early afternoon, yeah. then around 4 o'clock, uh, uh, around maybe 12. She's going to get the seeds with the fruit bowl, and then around maybe 4 o'clock, she's going to eat her salad, and she's going to add some olives and some artichokes, whatever mm -hmm. it is that she loves to add to that. And then around probably 7 or 8 is when she's going to go ahead and she's going to eat her beans and her grains. And that's going to give her three meals instead of the two uh, that we that I'm used to trying to have people do. But again, if you're experience the same thing with the cruciferous vegetables and the raffinose in the body, not breaking down the cruciferous vegetables, this is a good way to uh, change that. Because now, has that helped? Have you felt any pain since this new change of the of the eating? Absolutely, um, yes. So I don't have pain anymore. Excellent. So since eating this um, the salad like at three ex at three o'clock in the afternoon, and mm -hmm. then like um, the rice, the greens, and the lentils, um, it's just much much better. She's very soft. It's just very sensitive to my gut and my um, stomach. So that was definitely a good decision to make. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. You know, that's what I'm here to do is, is just put th people through the, the bib lifestyle, learn how their body's working with it, give you guys the, the Q&A the, the, the Q right here, the questions and the answers of what they're actually feeling, what they're going through, so that you can see that it really works for everybody. It's for babies, it's for, it's for young adults, for kids, for adults, it's for the elder. You know, most people don't want to transition to a healthy lifestyle until their doctor tells them, hey, you've got to do something about your eating because you're dealing with this, you're on this medication, you're on that medication, we're seeing ulcers, we're seeing this, you know. I want to teach you how to prevent all that so you can stay away from the doctor. And this <laughs> is just what the doctor ordered. So guys, here we go. We've got these put together for Gabriella. She's gonna enjoy these. We've got these great bowls by Cambro. I just love to share them with you guys because they accommodate for everything as you can see. You know, when we're on the go with a busy lifestyle these days, everybody's busy. You can just pack this all up together just like that. Take it with you wherever you go. These bowls are very durable. I love using the jars, you know, the mason jars with the screw on lids, you know. And there we go, we could put this in here. Out the door we go, we've got our food. This here is the Bib Lifestyle. This is Operation Gabriella, week number three, the end of it. She's got five more to go. Everything's going great? Absolutely, so if you watch this, definitely give it a try. You heard it from Gabriella, guys. Always remember, be your best body. <laughs>